Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Till now, generating text with an images has been a hard problem. While Stable Diffusion Excel 1.0 could generate text with an images, still it needed quite a lot of iterations to get it right. But today we have Pediogram, which can generate text with reasonable accuracy. And the best thing is that you don't need any complex prompting to be able to do that. So it can generate images like the ones that you can see here. Awesome. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. We'll see how we can use Ideogram and also see what are the limitations of it and what kind of text it can generate. Go to ideogram.ai and if you're here for the first time, click on sign up and go through the process of signing up. Once you log into Ideogram, this is the interface that you see. So the interface is very, very simple. All you have is a text box where you can enter the prompt right at the top and a generate button and all the public generations will be visible here. So it will be defaulted to trending. You can also go to top if you want. This is where all the top generations that have the highest upwards are. Once you are here, enter the text that you want. For example, uh, you can see all the available style, styles that you want and whenever you are Generating text, it's good to pick uh, typography and secondly, pick the style that you want, for example, graffiti and also choose the type of output that you want, square or portrait or uh, landscape. So here I'm choosing landscape and these are all the available options. Let's click on generate. You can see the progress here, the generation progress. Now it's done. You can pick the one that uh, you're comfortable with. For example, let's say this is good. It got the letters correctly. One more interesting feature is the remix feature, which you can take this as the base image. And then, you know, perhaps uh, just run the same thing again so that you can get variations of it as well as get anything uh, correct if there were spelling mistakes, etc. Awesome. So this looks good. And once you pick the image, you can see the parent here, which means that we have used this image as the parent and we have remix to get this one. So you can recursively do remix. For example, let's remix this again, where we say bicycle by the wall. Let's see if we get this correctly. This is amazing. I think uh, this is quite good. This is also good. So whichever you are comfortable with, you can just click and uh, save as image and save it to your local computer. And the other thing is once you click on me on your profile, you can see all the generated images that are saved here. This is amazing. Now, one thing to note is that whatever generations that you create, all of them are public. There is no way to currently make them private. And also currently Ideogram is completely free to use. So you can generate images without paying any money at all. And another beautiful thing is that uh, whatever you see in top or trending, etc., you can go to the profile of the user and actually follow them like social media. And the thing that I like the most is that you can pick any image and do remix of it. Let's pick this uh, good morning. Let's do a remix of it. Just change good morning to let's say hello Ram Sri and you can see all the things that they picked as well. Illustration, 3D render, conceptual art, vibrant, typography, etc. As you can see, we got it pretty close. Uh, let's, you know, let's pick this one and again remix it. So if you don't get all the text correctly, you can you know, iteratively keep remixing it so you get better and better. Awesome. You can see that, you know, the first one as well as the last one are almost there. Hello, Ramsri. So as mentioned, remix is my most favorite feature and you can actually look at others and remix them. For example, let's say this is Lumina. Uh, let's remix this business logo, logo typography using the word three professional high-end branding. Let's click this. Awesome. It got one of these correctly, which is, you know, Ramsri. This is good. 
Now let's see some corner cases. So essentially I tried uh, getting vertical text, which I was unable to get. For example, if I want to write Ramsri from top to bottom, R-A-M-S-R-I, I was unable to get it, but let's give it a shot. Let's do a remix of this. Business logo typography using the word Ramsri, vertical style. As you can see, it still didn't adhere to anything here. So let's say write text Ramsri vertically from top to bottom. I'm just giving this as typography and 3D renders and uh, I'm not using anything as input. Let's see. As you can see, getting text to be written vertically was very hard and it's not adhering to anything. That's one of the limitations that I saw, which is trying to write text uh, vertically or curved, etc. I was unable to get that. Now let's look at some uh, generations. So one of the very interesting thing is generating movie posters with legible text. I gave this prompt movie poster with text, the silent warrior, an assassin with a gun by the bridge, dark theme typography. And I got this one. So I got some more variations as well, but uh, these are completely usable. Of course, the faces are not that great, but if you can kind of ignore some deformities or some fine details, this is a pretty good looking movie poster that I was able to generate and it got all the text correctly, the silent barrier, of course, with multiple iterations. And another beautiful thing is that I was able to get text behind the person. So for example, if you're trying to add text behind a person or object, you need to do multiple layers with image editing tools, for example, Canva or Photoshop, etc. But here I was able to get some interesting text behind the person images like you can see here. And one more thing is here. You can see the text behind the person one more text behind the person here and some more interesting explorations are actually exploding text and adding text effects. I was able to get this where I could give exploding text Ramsri color splashing particle disintegration typography 3D render and I was able to get this all these interesting uh, texts. This is pretty good. Of course, it could not get the particle disintegration part correctly where I want, you know, part of the text to disintegrate into pixels. And uh, some other beautiful things are, you know, reflections that is text reflections. For example, you see here, uh, rocks arranged in the shape of Ramsri reflecting water underneath cinematic typography. And it was able to faithfully, you know, get the reflection correctly, which is Ramsri is reflecting here at the bottom in the water. So that's pretty good. And this is also fairly, you can see the shadows. And some more interesting things are like effects, fire effects, etc. added to the text. Fire in the shape of Ramsri, a campfire in the forest, cinematic typography. Uh, it was able to get this and this. And one of the most popular one is, you know, generating neon signs on the wall. This, uh, this works fairly well because people have tried all kind of neon signs. Now let's look at some of the limitations of this model. Of course, we saw that we were unable to generate vertical text or slanted text, etc. That's one of the shortcoming. And the other shortcoming is basically for non-English text, especially Indic languages, etc. It's extremely hard and I was unable to get them right. For example, let's try this a signboard with the text Namaste, Namaste written in Telugu. So it's completely thrown off. Let's try with let's say Hindi. So not even close. Let's do transliterated text. Kesoho by. So basically, Kesoho by is in, in is in Hindi, which means how are you, brother? 
I'm pretty sure it can do transliterate text to some extent because they are pretty much English letters. So this is pretty good. I mean, Casio by absolutely no spelling mistakes uh, whatsoever. All in all, you can see that uh, Ideogram is a pretty interesting model. So it can generate interesting things like reflections of text, text splash effects, text behind object, etc. But it fails in generating uh, non-English text, especially which doesn't use English letters and also text in uh, different curvature and uh, vertical etc. I am pretty sure it will improve over time and also we will be able to generate longer phrases easily. But at the moment we can already create some interesting YouTube thumbnails etc. with this kind of model. That itself is very powerful. Thanks for watching. I will see you in another video.